This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, markets continue to frustrate investors as good news drove markets lower and bad news pushed markets higher for another week of extreme volatility. The markets began the week with a 5.7% gain, the largest two-day gain since 2020, fueled by the bad news of slowing manufacturing activity and a sharp decline in job openings. Unfortunately, it was all downhill from there as the good news of stronger services data and Friday's job report drove the market lower. The S&P 500 slid 4% from its Tuesday peak, but still managed to finish the week up 1.5%. The Dow was up 1.99% for the week, and the NASDAQ composite rose less than 1%. Truth be told, nobody knows what September's job data means for future Fed policy, and the extreme price volatility we witnessed this week has more to do with investors' sentiment and their emotions of fear and greed. Ask yourself, was the market right when it jumped over 5% when job openings dropped? Or was it right when the market fell 4% when employment fell? You don't know, and I don't know either. But here's what I do know. The Federal Reserve is not trying to save the economy like it did in prior bear markets. They're simply trying to slow down a red-hot economy in order to curb inflation. This is not a crash. It is a correction, a price adjustment to the current reality. What I also know is yields in the bond market have become very attractive for investment more than any time in the past 15 years. Equity valuations are very attractive for long-term investments with a P.E. ratio now below its historical average. Not only is it a good time to invest, but it's also a good time to stay invested. As we saw this week, successfully timing the stock market is nearly impossible partly because the best trading days tend to cluster around the worst ones. And missing just a few of those rally days has surprisingly outsized impact on your portfolio. Looking at the market data over the last 20 years, being out of the stock market for just the best 10 trading days would have resulted in half the return over that period. Half. Now, the recovery will come. And when it does, the first two years of recoveries are huge. In year one of a market recovery, the S&P has returned a whopping 30% on average. In year two, the S&P adds another 37% on average. Now, none of us know where the market will be in the next few days, weeks, or months. We could already be at the bottom, or we could go much lower. But for long-term investors, time in the markets matters more than timing the market. Bottom line, it pays to remain invested and balance precisely when it's most difficult to do so. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call us at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692, or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.